anyway, I, I uh, went to Sri Lanka to try and de-coconut myself, right? And I was annoyed before I even left this country, right? And I'll tell you why. The airport did my head in, right? Because they were doing Ebola checks at the airport and I'd been shitting myself about Ebola. It was pissing. Was anyone here worried about Ebola? No. And it's very easy... <laughs> It's very easy to not worry about something that doesn't affect anyone who looks like you. I, I, I understand that, right? But I was nervous about it. Started watching the news, trying to stay on top of it. You know what pisses me off about the news, right? They never recap what's been happening. So the news will start, and they'll start talking about a story that's been developing over the last few days, and I don't know what the hell's going on. And they just assume that you've been following it up to that point, I'm just turning to my wife going, what is Krishnan talking about? I don't understand, right? <laughs> they don't recap the news. It's the most important show on TV, and they don't recap it. Yet every other moronic, <laughs> thick as pig shit TV show <laughs> is recapped within an inch of its life, right? Come dine with me. <laughs> the whole show's a fucking recap, right? Nothing happens in that show. You watch it, goes, Derek's made a tiramisu. Join us after the break, you find out exactly what the guests thought about the tiramisu, right? <laughs> then you watch the break, then after the break, it goes, before the break, Derek made a tiramisu. <laughs> it's just are eating it. I know, mate, I can literally see the guy eating the tiramisu. It's not the radio. I'm watching it, dude. What are you telling me? Why don't they do that on the news? I know they don't want to make the news longer. Just put it on the red button, then. Put it on the red button. Today, we're going to talk about Ebola in Africa. Red button, what's Africa? Do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> Do you know what the funniest thing about the Ebola checks was? The funniest thing about the Ebola checks, right? Voluntary. Voluntary. <laughs> Voluntary checks at the airports in this country to find out if you've got Ebola. Who the shit <laughs> is going to volunteer to spend more time at an airport <laughs> to find out if they might have Ebola? Not me, mate. I've got a massive Toblerone to get stuck into. I haven't got time <laughs> to find out if I've got a deadly virus. It's difficult enough to fly out this fucking country as it is. I'm brown with a beard, mate. I was wearing a camouflage jacket because I'm having a midlife crisis. <laughs> I might as well said, hello there, could I please have a rectal exam? <laughs> I was complaining about it to a friend of mine. I said, dude, I'm so done with this airport security, man. It's pissing me off. Do you know what he said to me? He said to me, don't be so bloody selfish. Do you know the reason we have those measures in place? Rummish. <laughs> it's because we don't want the terrorists to win. So why don't you suck it up and deal with it? Rummish. Now, <laughs> I understand the argument, but my counter-argument would be this. How do we know that the terrorists haven't already won? How do we know what their initial goal was? What if their initial goal was just to make air travel fucking annoying? <laughs> because if that was their initial goal, they've absolutely smashed it, mate. They've knocked it out of the park. Somewhere there's a terrorist going, and the infidels have to take their shoes off even on internal flights. 